Um, so let's turn to values and blues then, and let's start with what you're arguing with. Ed. What what is the big point of the book? Well, I think that the the major um, point that I hope people take away from the book is that disability and the history of the body at war is not something that is separate from the history of the war, right? I think um, a lot of times we think about, you know, the story of disabled soldiers and veterans as somehow coming after the war, right? As like, that's kind of its own thing. It's not connected to the war itself. Um, and what I really set out to do was to show how the history of, of disability, of the disabilities that soldiers and veterans experienced, that, that begins, the problem that that poses begins as soon as the war begins, right? And we, we start having um, attempts to figure out what are we going to do with these people? What, how are we even going to conceive of these people, right? Mm -hmm. um, what kinds of rhetorical problems do they pose, right? How are we going to um, try to uh, adapt the way that we think about disability in a civilian sense to these guys, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so I really set out to show how intertwined and complicated that is. Um, and of course, one of the other things that I set out to do was just to kind of broaden our idea of what civil war disability actually is mm -hmm. and what it means and how it affected people. I think too often we have a very simplistic idea of disability as meaning simply not able, yeah. right? Like it's just, you're, that's it, <laughs> you're done. Um, and I was very inspired early in my dissertation phase by the debates that were happening over dark history versus light history. And often disability history got kind of lumped into this dark category. Mm. And I found myself thinking, that's too, that's too simple of a way of thinking about disability because it automatically sort of puts disability into the category of something that is awful and terrible mm -hmm. and ruins your life. And I think that's not a great way of thinking about disability. It's certainly not a nuanced way of thinking about disability. And it, it is stigmatizing even in our, you know, the time that we live in, right? Um, so I, I think at the very core of it, those were the things that I was setting out to do was just to demonstrate how much more nuanced and how much more intertwined with the actual war mm -hmm. this issue really was.